Have you ever played one of those card games where you think you made the best move and suddenly the improbable happens to mess it all up? Do you like the chances of poker but don't want to have to bet any money? Six Nimit was designed by Wolfgang Kramer almost 30 years ago and goes by other names like Category 5 and Take 6. It's been a popular game for years that plays 2 to 10 people and has been re-implemented a number of times. Let's take a look at how to play this game. First, shuffle all the cards and deal a 10 card hand to every player. Next, place four cards face up in the central play area. These are the first cards in a row. The remaining cards that weren't dealt are set aside until the next hand is dealt. Play will start with each player selecting a card and placing it face down in front of them. Once all players have selected and placed their card, they will flip those cards face up simultaneously. Then each card will be added to a row, starting with the lowest number played and proceeding to the highest. Here's where the fun begins. There are a couple of rules for placement. Rule number one, the number on the card must be in ascending order. In other words, higher cards go to the right of lower cards. Rule number two, look for the row with least difference. If a card is high enough to be placed in multiple rows, place it in the row with the highest card closest to your number. Rule three, a card with five cards is a full row. If rules two and three ascending order and least difference would cause you to place a card on a row as the sixth card, you will take all five cards into hand and use your card to restart the row. We haven't mentioned this before, but the bulls shown on the cards are points. You don't want points in this game, so taking a row is obviously a bad thing. Rule four, you must take a row of cards if you play a card lower than all of the highest numbers shown in each row. Sometimes it ex Sometimes it is extremely strategic to do this at the right time and gain a row with one or a few points while simultaneously setting up other players to take higher point rows. Whenever you take a row, your card becomes the first in that row, just like in rule three. If you're curious about the breakdown of cards, blue cards end in the digit five and have two bullheads. Green cards are multiples of 10 and have three bullheads and red cards are multiples of 11 and have five bullheads each. The exception to the blue cards is the 55 card, which has a whopping seven bullheads. The rest of the cards are white and only have one bullhead. Whenever you take cards throughout the game in hand, they go face down in front of you into your bullpen. Once every player has played all 10 cards in hand, count the cards in a respective bullpen and tally the points. Remember, each bullhead is worth one point. Record the scores. The game will proceed with playing cards in this manner until one player has 66 or more points. The player with the least points wins. Tied players share the victory. You have just learned the basics of how to play Six Nimit. It's a silly fun game with a little bit of strategy and a good bit of randomness. You can definitely learn to get better at the game, but it still might come back to bite you. When you're playing with less players, you can add more predictability to your game by playing with the tactics or logic variants. Each is designed for play with two to six players. And the tactics variant only used a fixed number of cards. The number of cards will be four plus 10 times the number of players. For example, in a three player game, only use cards numbered one to 34. In a four player game, you would use numbered one through 44 and so forth. With the logic variant, select your cards based on number of players just in the tactics variant. However, before starting to play the game, instead of shuffling, place all the cards face up in front of the players who will then choose one card for their hand until they have 10 cards each. The remaining four cards are always the starting cards for the rows. I hope you have enjoyed learning about the game Six Nimit, and will enjoy playing it even more. Where did you first play the game if you've already played it? At a party? A friend's house? Maybe at a cabin or on a retreat? Do you have another favorite game where players get stuck with cards? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe so that we can continue to create great content for you. As always, Thanks for watching and happy gaming.